Hey, traffic like people. <laughs> Smokey's over there. Hey, Mokey Moke. It's like, dude, it's cold outside. All right, so I'm going through kind of showing the process just in case other people are doing this. So I took these off. Uh, I think I'm going to keep these little hinges because they're kind of, I think, all three were the same and they've got the original paint. So I think that's the way they did it. So I'll go ahead and keep those little roll pins there. Uh, I put some, uh, like, um, stuff I use on chrome and aluminum. I'll show you. It's, I think it's Mother's uh, something aluminum polish to kind of clean this up. And it looks pretty good. This is going to have a seal in it, so you're not going to be able to, to see that. But... Uh, and then I, I clean these up. This one was plastic. That was glass. Um, uh, put some of that uh, 303 over there. I'll get to that on these tubes to make them kind of come back. Uh, let's see. What I'm doing now is getting that bus apart. I think I want to slide in a little video where I just cuss it out. I ordered this new bus. It's pretty small. And I was finally able to get those little pieces off. And trying to find those was freaking crazy. I don't know what they're called. I think I finally found them on one website. I went to Google. When I can't find things, I go to Google Images, and then I find an image of something, and then I usually click on that image, and it'll take me to either where they got it or a name. So that's what I ended up doing on that. That's that Mother's that I was using on. Uh, I used it on the back of these and on the front. Uh, it looks like this has a different connection. It comes across. Um, this has a spring like this that is holding that on, except this one is tight and it keeps it solid. This one wasn't keeping it very solid. So what I did to that one is I put a little hose clamp right around there so it can't fall through because this just slides in and out. The other side stops it from going through because it's got a lip. So I pushed up the lip tight, put a little hose clamp right there. So it's still a little loose, but it can't fall through now because the hose clamp is clamped onto that. A uh, couple little frays on the wiring, so I wiped down the wiring and cleaned the wiring off. Uh, Use some of this, uh, what is it? Aerospace protectant. Uh, it's supposed to be really good for your hoses under your engine, and it keeps it, it doesn't rot, doesn't dry out, etc. So I put that on uh, the wire, I cleaned the wire with that. I also cleaned the rubber seals that they kind of painted. But now they're more flexible. They were kind of dried and cracked. They're still kind of dried and cracked a little bit, but they're a little bit better. And uh, on this thing right here, so I quit moving this around because I'm sure. Uh, hi, Moki. Come on over and say hi. So after I got everything out of here, I kind of just used that same polish that I was doing the aluminum on the outside of this. And it made the outside look pretty good. So. This, I mean, there's a couple places right here. I might go get a little touch-up paint, but I think otherwise it cleaned up rather nice. If I can keep my blood off from bleeding. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and leave this the original uh, color. Could I paint it? Yeah, I could. I mean, it might protect a little bit more. And then what I'm working on today is it's got this little, uh, the computer chip that I bought. Make sure I'm on that computer chip. I think I am. So the little computer chip here has these little um, these little screw-in places. Well, all my lights have this mail plug here. Now I could cut these off and stick the wire straight in there, but because I wanted to keep these original on this, these are females, so I just put a little male pigtail on here. And uh, so I put a wire on there, I crimped it, and then I, I put the wire in there and screwed it. So I kind of open wire. And it tells you on a color, like, this will be neutral and power on the red light. Neutral power on the yellow, neutral power on the green. And then your main power source goes in here. So I'm, I'm making these little pigtails now. And I figured I would show how I was making those in case nobody has ever done it. And it's kind of simple. I'm sure there's probably other videos, but in the spirit of showing what the hell I'm doing. So I cut my little wires, and, and so these are going to be, and then I attach these male prongs that are protective so I could slide each light cover into here. So if I have a light issue, I just have to unplug it. I don't have to mess with a computer chip. All these will be put in a computer chip 
solid and screwed in. Plus, this is a, like a little solid copper wire, so it's not going to bend. Whereas these other wires might be tearing up that computer board. It's kind of flexible, and I didn't want it bending. So I'm going to be able to put these on here and tack this down so any movement will not move it, these ends over here that are connected. And then to connect these things, again, I just strip both sides of the wire. I want my little stripper. You just strip off the end of the wire. And then once I get the end of the wire, I have my little mail plug. It's blue, so there's blue, yellow, red right here. So I put my little blue one in there. You kind of clamp it down there. Now I always, a lot of people don't get this straight, they'll turn it sideways. I don't think it matters on these because it's completely circular. These are a little bit more pricey. I couldn't find the cheaper ones. A lot of the cheaper ones have two things like this, and if you don't get it on top, they won't bend in. So if you do it sideways, it matches them and it doesn't make good connection. So I always make sure that mine's vertical or uh, horizontal this way before I clamp it. And then once I get it in here and clamp down, then I put my wire in. So I want my little wire. I just put it in there. And then this is kind of like a, it clicks a little bit, it secures it. Put two hands, if you don't, if you want it more leverage, you can put it in a vise. I mean, it's not that hard. I just do it kind of slow so it gets around there. And then you do it completely, it clamps it. Then when it comes off, it's pressed in there pretty hard. Peel it off. And now I have a good crimp wire that's going to be in my computer, which is pretty stiff. So it's not going to be as flexible as the other ones wiggling around. So I'm going to make six of those. I've already got one in there. I've got four here. So might as well do my little last one right here. If I do it again, then people can go, You did the first one different, and it was on the wrong side. All right, whatever. Crimped, good to go. Got my six pieces, I'll screw them in a little light. Uh, the little light was this little bank right here. And uh, look at all these damn, <laughs> I got so many damn options on how many things I can do. I think there's two pages, of, oh no, maybe it's just these two pages. I thought it was more, I was like, holy shit. It was a job just trying to figure out how many options I had, much less choosing one. So. Uh, I don't know if you could read those or not on the different ones if you want to just pause it and uh, if somebody wants to tell me, you need to do number 42. All right, whatever. Somebody else can read all these because I'm too lazy. I'm going to probably do the first one just so I don't have to read all these. <laughs> and I'm not even sure how to adjust it. I'm sure it's got little jumpers or something in there. So anyway, that's where the uh, light project is going. And... Uh, What's that Moki cat? That little sucker was over here. Where'd you go, Moki Moke? He was just walking around in that little shit leaf. So I got the, uh, I painted the back side of that Ford. I know some people be like, man, you shouldn't have painted it. You ruined it. I, you know what? I got to get something kind of like to stop the rust. So I'm debating on whether to paint this red and do the letters white because I think looking back, that's what it was. And then the back, I just sprayed it with a spray on one can of spray paint, covered this whole side. Uh, it's good to dry from leaving out there. That's going to stop most of the rusting and stuff. Uh, I'm debating still. I think I'm going to do this black and white I, because the side of the bench is going to be black. Uh, if I do this black with the white letters on the back, uh, because the two side paces, the two metal grate, the iron grates, they're going to be black. So to keep the black, red, and white kind of theme, I'll put black and white on the back, and then I'll leave the front red and white. This is the original, and then I don't, you know. Now, this is kind of what the, uh, if you look right there, you can kind of tell what the whole backside looked like. The whole backside was looking like that. You can tell right where I painted it. And then you can tell where the other color, and I don't know if that's factory paint or that's just wore off, but uh, you can tell the other red of the factory was not quite as bright as that uh, this red. So I don't, and again, this was a spray on. The black I'm going to put on there, I'm going to put on with a brush, and it's going to be an oil base. 
that should smooth out nicely. And then when I put the white on there, it should look pretty nice. Again, it's going to be the back of the bench. And uh, what the hell else is going on? I think that's it. It's raining outside. We got a lot of rain. I moved the bike out of the way because it was getting in the damn way. Uh, the lights are still there. What else? Oh, yeah, I'm going to try and find my light switch idea for my other video. I want this to where I can just plug it into a socket. And then I want another plug to where I can plug something into this and it make a switch. I don't know if I post that video before or afterwards, but that's what that's there for. And I think that's it for my little project. Still got to go shoot that gun. Uh, cleaning up some of my flashlights, putting some of that... Uh, Man, this stuff worked great. I'm telling you. Um, those lights, until I sprayed them down with this, they would not work. And I sprayed the couple down, and they worked as soon as I sprayed them down and put them back together, they worked. But one, I had to spray down like twice before it worked. But that could have been a connection issue, because I, I noticed, if you notice a couple of these little wires here, they were frayed. And I would pull those out. I was just going to get new pieces here. But I'm like, you know what, this isn't going to be moved around. It's not going to be swinging on a light pole or nothing. So I said, you know what, if it works, I can change it later if it goes down. And uh, I think that's it. The boys were out here earlier. I don't know where they went. They were right around the side. And for the horsey people that are watching, that, that white stuff that I put in, that concrete base, man, it's holding up pretty good, even in the rain. So uh, that's working. All right. Well, then, out there, y'all have a good one.